What is this? Strange creatures discovered after tsunamis. All right, let's do that. The so tsunamis raise giant amounts of water, flood cities, a bunch of shit like that happens. I've seen um, like post tsunamis or post large storms, there'll be like fish in people's backyard. Like I saw one dude had like a squirrel fish in his backyard and he was like a mile from the coast and like a random squirrel fish landed in his backyard. So like they can definitely bring stuff up. And as Sharknado has clearly taught us, um, combination of tornadoes and tsunamis can uh, throw sharks which are still alive and sentient at people so very excited for this the world's oceans are some of the most mysterious areas we know about today wouldn't wouldn't be a, a strange top 10 on youtube if we didn't start out with something about the oceans being mysterious and undiscovered bonus points if you mentioned that we know more about space we don't know about every creature that lives in the ocean depths and how they've been affected by us Discoveries are now being made and the oh, results are Maris unexpected. Movie. Here are 10 creepy <laughs> seek. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that like a Blackmore goldfish with wings? <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Creatures discovered after the Japanese tsunami. Oh, after the Japanese tsunami. So this is after one specific tsunami in Japan. We're going to see all of these creatures and creatures. I'm excited. We got a quiz for you, so stay sharp and pay special attention. Yes, ma'am. Remember to answer in the comments and the winning comment with the most upvotes plus being the most clever will get pinned to the top and receive a shout out in a future video. Is that really how you engage comments? You engage comments by asking them all to answer the question and then they pin the top comment. That's so lame. All right. I want everybody to comment balls on this video and I will heart and pin a random balls. Good luck, soldiers. Unidentified mass. After the tsunami in 2011, a survivor managed to get this shot of this unidentified mass that turned up on the- So probably just a decaying whale or something? I don't know. I mean, it, can you really call this a sea monster? When you just have like a blob on the beach that just looks like decaying flesh? I mean, you've got cartilage, cartilaginous fish, you've got bony fish, there's plenty of different things. You've got muscle fibers, things decay weird, I don't know. This literally just looks like I left a loaf of bread in the ocean, and this is how it decayed. The mass looked like a whale-type creature, but locals were afraid to get close to no, it. No, they weren't. From some angles, the creature- It looks like a fucking rock. You're telling me locals who live on the ocean are scared to get near this? It looks like moldy bread or a literal rock. Ghost fish? Ghost fish? In this disturbing video shot during the tsunami, a white creature can be seen jumping into a tree as the flood waters rise. Then it seems to get back into the water, then jumps out into the air and turns into a mist, all as if it was trying to get to a safe place. Because the video quality isn't the greatest. Oh, it isn't the greatest. Is that so? This is maximum 50 pixels. My sub badges are higher quality than this thing. Saber tooth. She's just moving on? Okay, so a plastic bag or like a towel got carried by the wind upwards during the tsunami. And it's somehow a ghost fish and it's like 50 pixels. Cool. Got it. Sardine. Sabertooth sardine. Just days after the tsunami in March 2011, images of a bizarre looking creature. <laughs> so much is okay. <laughs> okay. First things first, obviously fake. Second thing, why would this be called a sardine? It has no resemblance of a sardine whatsoever. This is the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. Fish don't have those kind of canines. But also, like, come on. Emerged in a video posted online. Yeah, calling this a sardine. You know, sardine are like tiny silver fish that are like normal fish shaped. Not the head is two thirds of the body. You know, when we classify fish, we talk about the head, the trunk, the tail. Well, this thing is all head. There's zero trunk and the tail is just there. Line. According to the description. Where do the teeth go when it closes the mouth is a fire question. Does it have the holes that teeth go into with some fish? Doesn't look like it. Looking at it, it, <laughs> it looks, looks like, like a, a combination fossil. of a dog and a fish with sharp teeth and brown scales. Oh, it's not as angles. big as some of the photographed angles imply, but it is still a fascinating find despite accusations of forgery. Accusations of forgery? Mutant. 
Newton. One of the most affected areas of Japan during the tsunami was the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Okay. Between the earthquake and the subsequent tsunami, the plant had a nuclear disaster and people had to be evacuated from the region. I didn't However, know that. the sea life couldn't evacuate and it seems that it has resulted in mutated fish. I don't think in that, that happened because of the rotation. In this photo, a man caught a disturbing looking fish that seems to have no teeth, a large head, and a small... Just a wolf fish. This isn't a radiation, this is just a wolf fish. It's not created by fucking radiation leakage. It's like a pretty common fish. Like I put it in my top 10 worst fish when I made that months ago. This is not, this is not new. It is a creature that hasn't been discovered previously. So That's not even remotely true. A creature that hasn't been discovered. We know a lot about wolf fish. We know like their breeding and their parenting habits to the point where when I was doing research for that video, I was finding information about their parenting habits. Saying that we don't know a lot about a wolf fish is a total lie. Living in a skiff. What? In 2013, live fish were found in a skiff that turned up on the west coast <laughs> of the United States. That's actually kind of cool. Of the cool. five fish inside, only one survived and is being studied by the local marine biologist. That's actually pretty sick. I don't know how that's a strange sea creature discovered after soon. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take it. That That's pretty cool. To have like a fish survive in like some kind of debris that's like floating on the ocean and doesn't know it can get out because it's floating. It's kind of sick. All right, it's quiz time. How okay. much radiation and toxic waste from Fukushima do you think affects the sea life that live there? Almost none. And receive a shout out in a future Riches video. You think if I put almost none that they would pin my comment? I don't think they would. <laughs> Beluga hybrid. Beluga? Beluga whale or beluga sturgeon? This photo started floating oh, around okay. after the tsunami. So a basking shark? It's just a basking shark with its top jaw lowered. But cool. Ami, and it looks like a combination of a oh, beluga it's a mega whale mouth. I'm and dumb. a shark. I'm the dumb. It's just a mega mouth, not a basking shark. I meant mega mouth. <laughs> My bad. I meant Mega Mouth and I said basking shark. Mummy, and it looks like a combination of a beluga whale and a shark. The creepiness of the creature is enough to send shivers down everyone's- Everyone finds Mega Mouth so creepy. I don't get it. I think I've made this exact point before, but like, they don't- I mean, they're a little weird, but they're kind of cute. They're kind of personable. I can't see really hating these guys. We also don't know a ton about them. Yeah, they just look goofy. I wouldn't exactly call them like scary or mysterious. They're just kind of goofy, you know? I don't mind Mega Mouths. Yeah. Just one eye. Just one. Oh, is this the Cyclops? After shark? the tsunami, it wasn't uncommon <clears throat> to find creepy sea creatures on the west coast of the United States. Norfish. The gentleman holding this creepy okay. one eyed eel like creature seems to think he found the jackpot when it comes to weird creatures. He seems to think he found the jackpot, does it? Zoom in on his face. He looks pretty upset or not happy to be there to me. He doesn't look like someone who just thinks he found an amazing find. The one-eyed dead look on the creature's face indicates that it probably experienced some crazy things. If you've ever been- What? It doesn't even have one eye. That's one eye on one side. What does this have to do with experiencing? Do you think fish show what they've experienced in their eyes? What? Creature in town. Okay. In this video, we see the ruins of a Japanese town after the tsunami. Sure. Buildings are destroyed, vehicles are overturned, and a local sea life get washed up into the streets. Right. This creepy looking creature was clearly sturgeon? not expecting to run an errand in town. Aw, poor boy. Poor sturgeon washed up. Well, not, not really a strange sea creature, just a sturgeon, but... Poor guy. Regardless of the creature's identity, it definitely looks creepy and probably wasn't fun to- How does it look creepy? It's just a fucking sturgeon. These people are drama queens. I think the majority of the issue comes from the fact that these people are actual fucking drama queens. Like, removing a sturgeon is so scary, creepy, and horrible to deal with. Evacuate. Evacuate? While Where? it's difficult to identify the creature in this video, thinking about the circumstances are certainly creepy. In the video, you hear a man talking about the earthquake and tsunami with the moving waves of the ocean. Then you see a black streak go across the beach and then into the water. Considering how fast it moved, <laughs> this is even less pixels than the last one. Moved, it definitely wasn't a land-based creature, but yet it also moved too fast for a large sea creature. Other theories include seals or even an Was that octopus, the whole video? She's not going to show it again? Black streak go across the beach and then into the water. 
It's four frames. It's four frames. She has four individual images and each one is less than 20 pixels. Okay, cool. after seeing these creatures somewhat up close, do you think that the relatives of these things might be affected by the Fukushima disaster? Will no. we see a rise in mutated sea creatures? That's not mutated. Let us know in the comments. That's and just a jellyfish. Your favorite answer. Okay. Tell us what you thought of. Okay. Thanks. The richest. Making great videos as always. Whoa.